Hello guys, kamusta kayong lahat at welcome back dito sa May Art Life. Sa nakaraan nating episode, pumunta tayo sa Tokyo para tingnan doon at bisitahin ang isa sa pinakamalaking art store doon. Ito ay ang Sekaido. Doon ay sama-sama nating inikot ang bawat floor ng Sekaido para tingnan kung ano-anong mga art materials ang meron sila doon. Kaya kung hindi mo pa napapanood ang episode na yun, E tingnan mo lang dun sa description box sa baba, meron dong link na pwede mong i-click at pwede ka maghintay at the end of the video para maklik mo yung video link at mapanood mo yung episode kung saan binisita natin ang Sekaido sa Shinjuku, Tokyo, Japan. Alright, so ngayon ready na ba kayo? Eto na, isishare ko na sa inyo yung mga art materials na nabili ko sa napakalaking art store na to. Simulan natin ang ating art hall with this black paper and it is from the brand Hamada. This is a local Japanese brand at this is 843 yen. So kung gusto nyo malaman kung magkano to sa pera natin, just divide it by 2 and more or less yun na rin yung presyo nun. This is an A4 size and 100 sheets na siya sa isang pack. Alright, so that's it for today's video and thank you so much for watching. Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> Marami pa tayong papakitang art materials today, so sit back and relax. Ang next item natin ay itong Pentel Sign Pen. Uh, itong pen na to is dual-ended, tapos yung dulo niya, although maliit lang yung pinaka-tip, pero para siyang brush pen kung sumulat. Tapos nabanggit ko nga, diba, uh, it's double-ended, so yung isang end niya is gray yung kulay, at ito yung gray, yan, and... Yung other end naman is black. Aside from using it as a sign pen or pang calligraphy pen, pwedeng pwede rin tong as a drawing pen. At makikita nyo naman sa likod, I guess this is release only in Japan since lahat ng sulat niya are in Japanese. Okay, so next is another Pentel product pero this time this is a brush pen. At alam ko, itong brush pen na to, available din to locally sa atin. Uh, may nakita na akong ganito sa National Bookstore and I think it's around halos 300 pesos. Pero yung packaging niya iba. Um, Naka-plastic lang siya. Tapos, syempre, English na yung sulat. Unlike nitong isang to, naka-blister pack, may cardboard backing. Tapos, lahat ng sulat niya are in Japanese including yung brand name na Pentel. So, yun yung may kita nyo na kulay red na sulat. That's the brand name ng Pentel. Di ba yung sa atin, yung word talaga yung na pentel yung nakasulat. Ang presyo yata nito sa Sikaido is around halos 200 pesos din. So, medyo konti lang yung difference. Alright, so let's move on to our next item. At itong isang to medyo special dahil binalot pa nila ng separate. Um, at ito siya, uh, it's actually a watercolor brush. At yun yung likod niya. And ito yung itsura niya sa harap. And it's 692 yen. So, medyo mahal pero pwede na rin. At uh, kung titingnan nyo, ito yung instruction kung paano gamitin tong pen na to. Kasi ano to eh, um, a traveling brush or portable brush. So, itong brush na to, yung bakal yung ferrule niya. Tapos yung gitna niya is a transparent acrylic which is a nice touch. At yung pinaka handle niya is stainless na bakal. Right? At ito, dun sa stainless steel niya na handle, nandun nakasulat yung brand name which is Kusakabe. At nahahati to sa gitna. Tapos, yung stainless na handle, dun mo ipapasok yung dulo ng brush. Which is really nice kasi pagka dinala mo siya while you're traveling, siguradong hindi mapipipi yung pinaka bristles ng brush mo dahil hindi siya naka-expose. Eh. Nakatago siya dun sa loob ng stainless steel casing niya. So yun, kaya nagusto ko tong brush na to. Alright, so yan yung Kusakabe watercolor brush. And let's move on to the next item which is another watercolor brush I guess. And this is Interlon. And as you can see here, it's made in Japan. Hindi ko na nga lang alam kung magkano to kasi as you can see dun sa sticker niya, wala dun yung actual price. And wala na rin sa akin yung resibo so I'm not sure kung magkano tong Interlon na to. Alright, so let's move on to the next item. Still on the same packaging and this time naman it's a permanent marker. And this is for or from Pentel Knuckle. Yun yung pangalan ng uh, product na to. 
at as you can see um, it's just a regular bullet tip at meron siyang pump sa likod itong marker na to yung loob niya is wala siyang ink cartridge it's all inking nasa loob so it's, so it's... at ito naman guys is a uh, pentel maxi flow ito na bili ko to sa national bookstore for around parang 90 pesos yata or 100 pesos and it looks very similar dun sa nabili natin sa Japan na pentel knuckle Pero I guess it's just the same thing. Pero ang difference ng is, yung Pentel Knuckle is um, Japanese release. At ito namang Maxi Flow is more on the international release. So let's see and compare kung ano yung difference. Pareho din naman silang may pump sa likod. At yung tip naman nila ay eh, pareho ring uh, bullet tip. So yeah, I guess it's just the same thing. Yun nga lang, international releasing Maxi Flow, yung Pentel Knuckle is released only in Japan. O nga pala, kung nagtatanong kayo kung bakit bumili ako ng, or marami ako nitong Pentel Knuckle or Maxi Flow, it's because nagamit ko na to before. Uh, meron akong ginawan ng mural at yung outline, itong Maxi Flow yung ginamit ko and ang tagal niya bago na ubos. And you're always sure na maganda yung flow ng ink dahil nga ink barrel yung nasa loob niya. So every time na medyo nauubos na yung ink or natutuyuan ng ink dun sa tip, ipapump mo lang siya at maglalabas siya ng fresh new ink. So yan yung reason kung bakit bumili ako nito at kung bakit gustong gusto ko tong Pentel product na to. Alright, so let's move on to our next item and itong dalawang to are notebooks pero this is not just any ordinary notebook because these are watercolor paper notebooks. And it's 20 sheets and 40 pages. At pag kayo doon, it's just 20 sheets. So kung back to back, eh, magiging 40 pages nga siya. Pero wala naman akong balak na i-back to back yung paggamit nito kapag ka nagpipaint ako. Bali, yung gitna niya is spring bind. Tapos yung gilid niya, yung plastic cover, goes over the pages. Para you can only use or get the one that you need na page tas the rest of the page nakaipit sa dun sa gilid so hindi nakakasagabal kasi isang page lang talaga yung nakalabas as for the pages pala kung makikita nyo wala syang texture it's very smooth so hot press ang paper nito and uh, medyo maliit sya B6 lang yung size dahil nga this is made for uh, being a, a portable watercolor book it's Specifically in Tanglis Travelers uh, Watercolor Book. And kaya ko binili to kasi sabi nila dun sa Sikai to uh, maganda daw yung quality ng paper nito at ito daw yung ginagamit ng mga professional watercolorist pagka uh, they're painting on the go. And <laughs> hindi mo ratong watercolor book na to, it's 648 yen. So, yan yung uh, watercolor book natin. And then for the next item are these um paints in tubes these are chroma krill paints these are actually acrylics and yung kinuha ko are yung mga fluorescent colors ito yung mga colors na kinuha ko and um it's 420 yen at malaki na yung tube niya so sobrang okay din siya sa presyo niya meron tayong fluorescent green or flora green ito naman is floral yellow at same price din lang siya uh, meron tayong floro orange and medyo nalungkot talaga ako nung nakita ko to out of the package kasi napipi siya and uh, lumabas yung paint buti na lang hindi tumapon lahat ayan, eto din yung floro pink at kung makita nyo dun sa cup natapon din siya nung naipit sa package or dun sa, sa maleta Okay, so ang next item naman natin is itong uh, dalawang masking tape na to. And it's 160 yen. Yun yung nakasulat kanina dun sa harapan niya. Yan, it's 160 yen. So pwede na kasi ang kapal ng masking tape na to. Pero kung iisipin nyo, parang ang mahal na ba for a masking tape. Well, it's because sa Japan, ang tawag nila dun, masking tape. Pero actually, ang masking tape nila ay gawa sa washi tape. And alam niyo naman kung gano'ng kamahal yung washi tape. Nagustuhan ko rin to kasi maganda yung dikit niya para lang siyang post-it. So, madikit siya pero madali siyang tanggalin and it's sure na hindi mapupunit yung yung papel or yung watercolor paper kapag ka tinatanggal mo na siya. And of course, um, 
alam naman natin na this is very useful when uh, painting para dun sa mga border. Alright, and for our next item naman is itong melts. And makita nyo, liquid siya. And this is made by Hallpain. Hallbane pala, I thought, was a European brand. <laughs> Hindi pala. It's a Japanese brand. So, nakita nyo dyan, it's Hallbane made in Japan. And actually, ngayon lang ako nakita ng ganitong product. It's a colored pencil blender na liquid form. It's 411 yen. And uh, medyo mahal siya para sa akin dahil nga maliit lang yung bote nito eh. And I guess this is just a Japanese release type na product dahil lahat ng instructions niya sa likod ng details niya sa likod are in Japanese. Next item naman natin is this um, single color na watercolor in a full pan. And this is 200 yen. So it's around 100 pesos sa pera natin. And this is made in Japan. Since more on naka-Japanese yung mga sulat niya dun sa label, hindi ko sure kung kuretake gansay tambi to. Pero kasi may ibang mga products dun na very similar sa itsura nung pan nung gansay tambi. And then dun sa front niya, meron siyang R30 na code. And yung nakasulat sa harap, ang color niya is Aurora. Or yung effect niya is Aurora. And ito medyo diniliman ko kasi ang hirap makita nung sparkle niya dahil sobrang sparky siya sobrang bright yung pinaka unique dito sa sa paint na to is para siyang silver at the same time para siyang pearl so i guess kaya nagustuhan ko to dahil nga doon sa unique na color niya all right and for our next item is a poster color by turner and this is in a 40 ml jar at yung nakasulat dun sa baba ng word na poster color, yung naka-Japanese letters, it says gold deep. So, I guess it's deep gold. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's what it means, pero yun yung nakasulat sa baba. At kung may kita nyo, grabe yung pagka-chrome nung uh, pagka-gold nito. Grabe yung pagka-chrome niya. So, dun sa shelf, napansin ko siya. And dun ako talagang na na convince na bumili ng isang bote nito kahit medyo mahal siya at hindi lang ito yung kulay niya ang dami pa dong metallic colors so it's really heartbreaking na isa lang yung pwede kong bilhin kasi pricey nga siya at ito ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano itsura niya sa loob this is not like any other poster color dahil lahat ng poster color nung uh, Turner or yung set na to ng Turner is naka powder type siya. And uh, actually I've never used a powder type poster color before. So hindi ko rin alam kung paano ba gamitin to. So ayan basta dinip ko na lang doon yung um, water brush and sobrang konti lang nung kinuha ko pero makikita nyo it goes a long way at again grabe yung pagka chrome niya. Kahit na pinaint ko siya over on a similar color na brown din pero litaw na litaw pa rin yung pagka chrome niya, yung pagka gold niya and parang nagsisiyata ako hindi ako bumili ng other colors kasi ang dami pa dong ibang metallic colors so Turner if ever you're watching this video I'm right here and I'm totally pinging on this poster color and our next item naman and actually this is the last set for this video are these Ecoline liquid watercolor for comic and calligraphy so multi-purpose tong mga inks na to that's why i liked it and uh, although it's only 20 ml so medyo naliliitan ako sa bote nito and the colors i got is ito this is turquoise blue and of course malamang to japanese release or japan release lang to dahil lahat naka japanese and this is 378 yen so again just divided by two to know the approximate price by peso ang isa pang maganda rito is that it's in a plastic bottle so hindi siya mababasag and meron siyang sariling dropper that's very handy para alam mo yun, hindi na halu halu yung mga kulay mo kasi yung iba they dip the brush from one color to another pero to may built in na siya for each bottle so ang ganda di ba nice 
and that ensures that the colors stay pure and uncontaminated. Ay, ito pa yung iba kong mga nabili. Uh, this one is sand yellow which will be perfect for skin tones. And this one naman is uh, pastel blue. Seldom ako makakita ng ganitong kulay. And then for this, this is um, light rose. So maganda to for florals. And another one that will be good for florals, itong red violet. So mostly na mga kinukuha ko are very unique colors. And just like this next one, this is a pastel violet. Yellow ochre. And again, this is good for skin tone or sunsets. Pwede rin for florals. This one is reddish brown. And maraming uses tong color na to para sa akin. And our last color is pastel yellow. Napakaganda niya, parang light na lemon color. Alright, so yan yung mga nabili kong kulay. Although, sobrang dami pang kulay na nandun and I don't think makukompleto ko silang lahat. Pero this time, gusto ko naman siyang i-compare dito sa mga e-kulay na nabili ko from Deovir or Javir. This one is made in Netherlands. So, in the future, gagawa ako ng comparison between inks na galing sa Netherlands and then yung inks na galing sa Japan. Yung other differences pa nila is yung galing sa Netherlands is 30ml, yung sa Japan is just 20ml, and yung sa Netherlands is glass bottle, and yung sa Japan naman is plastic bottle. Yun nga lang, yung galing sa Japan, meron na siyang built-in na dropper dun sa cup niya, which is a good touch. As for the price naman, halos magkapareho lang din sila ng presyo, pareho silang under 200 pesos. I'm also curious kung mas marami ba yung colors na nasa Japan kesa yung nasa Netherlands or is it the other way around? Alright, so that's it for today's video and thank you so much for hanging out with me today guys and I really appreciate you watching my videos. So kung bago ka palang sa channel na to, please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like na rin. At kung gusto mo, i-share mo na rin to, to all of your friends na mahilig din sa art. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now.